Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. I got a good question from one of the viewers, actually a series of questions, from Gamer Weasel, and he was asking specifically, can you make the database variable global so you don't have to pass it in every single function that does anything to do with the database? You can absolutely do that. You can keep the variable global and your functions become a lot smaller. Instead of those functions having to have been passed in every time, it can be a variable up here and all these functions can reference that same variable so you don't have to pass it every single time. However, let me show you the cost of doing that from a testing perspective and then show you some ways where it doesn't hurt so bad. For wrapping our database query with a function, pure as possible function, without really doing any parameter validation, what happens if we simply remove the DB? So we remove it and know that this DB comes from this variable that's defined up here. So if we call it the function, it'll technically still work. If we rerun our unit test, they'll break knowingly because they're expecting an internal variable for that. So we'll go down and notice that it doesn't need the DB collection anymore. It's supposed to get it from a variable. And given the fact that this function is pulled from here, it'll still retain or enclose that data that it needs to get from up here. So if we rerun our unit tests, it still fails because it doesn't know what collection is. That's because the data isn't connected yet. We haven't actually ever called startup. So already by removing a variable from a function and making it less pure, we already have to be worried about state. We already have to be worried about, hold on, before we can test this function, we have to set up another function and another variable. We don't wanna to have to do that because we don't have to call startup. We're trying to do a unit test. We're not trying to do an integration test. So let's make a tricky way to fix it here where the search by address can get his database. So we'll make a const set db, give it a value and db equals val. So if you wanna set it, you can, We'll go ahead and export this function. It's like a setter if you're from a class-based language. And we'll then import it up top. And then we'll go set DB and then set our mock, just like we did before. Now this is a no op, there's no return value. We have no idea if this worked. Rerun our unit test and we're good. We set our mock back and we're good and this function still works. What did we have to do to do that? Well, first we had to create a setter, some gateway into either A, this module, or if this were a class, some kind of setter function. B, we had to call it first. This function will never work unless you call this other function first. You now have to know that. You now have to load this in your head and think about it and remember it. This function will now return completely different results with the same inputs. It's no longer pure. And this state you have to remember when you're debugging. If you have a pure function, these problems go away and each and every single function can be tested in complete 100% isolation. And when you have enough unit tests around it, you feel confident in that function. We now no longer feel confident in this function. It needs to have something else turned on for it to work. Now, it's not all gloom and doom. You can code in a non-functional way and still kick major tail. So normally you pass in your parameters that you need. Rest-based parameters are optional. They have to appear at the end. So the DB equals DB, it will default to the real one. The second parameter is optional which means we can put our mock in there if we're trying to test this guy in isolation. Rerun our test, we're good to go. In our integration test, we can actually leave the second parameter out and test the function by itself, knowing that by default, it accepts the database. All of your functions can do that. Now, one way to mitigate the setup problem is that although you've introduced state by having to know that, you can at least reduce how much you need to do by leveraging kind of the functionality that Mocha provides. So we'll say before each, or before each unit test, Go ahead and set up our DB with a mock good collection so we're good to go. After each, to make sure that we are in fact clean, we can set DB, DB to undefined or nothing so we know that it's cleaned up its mesh each time it runs. When you rerun your unit tests, everything is good and you can continue to write as many, many unit tests as you want around these functions and know that all their setup work is kind of being taken care of. However, this is why I like testing with pure functions. I can test this in isolation. I don't have to do all the setup work. I don't have to remember it. I don't have to clean up my mess. And I don't have to know about what order I can call a function. I just call a function and it works. The before each and the default parameter option of just saying db equals db. And by the time the function runs, where it's executed, this DB will reference a already connected database rather than using the setter. Both of those should hopefully give you a very simple way of testing if you wanna do stateful things without having to pass DB or any other third-party dependencies into every single function call. Instead, you can just reference them internally. Use basic JavaScript scoping that works, whether whether var or let doesn't matter. So hopefully that helps you understand adding statefulness to the code makes it a lot easier to work with and a lot harder to test. If you have pure functions, it's harder to work with because you gotta create all those parameters that ahead of time to actually use the function. Testing them is a breeze because you can call them anywhere in any order in any place and they work. Same input, same output. Again, my name is Jesse Warren. You got any other questions, hit me up in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all tomorrow.